Hi everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. Today I have a cumulative haul for you. It's kind of big. It's stuff I've been gathering for the last couple of months since my last haul, I guess. And um, I'm going to jump right into it. I went to Walmart, Goodwill, Aldi, Target, Kohl's. And I think that's it. And I am going to show you, I don't have it in any particular order or anything. I just have it kind of spread out over here and I will just jump right into it. But first and foremost, sorry about my appearance. I'm still not feeling great. I have crazy sinus issues, so I apologize. Um, I'm completely congested. And if you hear any clicking noise, I have Josie watch, or playing Minecraft over in the living room. So that's her. <laughs> Shh. Okay, first off, I'm gonna start with my breakable stuff. Um, I did get a bit of Pioneer Woman and just a little bit of her new stuff from her uh, Vintage Flora collection. I got eight of these little guys. These are the dipples. We use these all the time and I'm down to two from 12. So I decided I'm definitely going to get these this is the teal with the actual vintage floral pattern on it. I went with the green um, polka dots. Love this green. The yellow, you guys, I think I'm warming up to yellow because I think it just sets it off a little bit. And then this aqua one, I love as well. And then there was a light blue one that I really liked, the outside pattern, but I don't like the light blue that was on the inside. They also had an orange one and I'm just not an orange person. So I got two of each of these colors, like so. And then, of course, I could not leave Walmart. If you know me, I love my birds. And then they, her new salt and pepper shakers are birds with the vintage floral pattern on them. I love these little guys. I got a couple more things from Walmart, and I'm going to work my way into them. I have a kind of like a big box over here. So I'm going to jump into my thrift part. And this is kind of the silliest thing I've ever shown you probably. A little itty bitty tiny salt and pepper sh shaker. It was 49 cents and I did get 25% off, always with my coupon. But I got this for my husband's lunches. Um, if you've ever watched one of my Aldi hauls, I al Gabe always wants yogurt and a fruit cup for lunch. That's all he ate. Greek yogurt and a fruit cup. But lately he's been switching so I've been able to get a little more creative with his lunches. So um, I made him a bunch of boiled eggs to, you know, for protein. <laughs> and, uh, but he needs salt. And I was looking for something to put, you know, in his lunchbox. Just a little tiny salt and pepper shaker. Okay. Also at Goodwill, I got a pair of new ballet flats. I currently have a pair of leopard print ballet flats. This is specifically what I've been looking for. I've been looking for a good pair, you know, inexpensive but good quality um, for probably two months now to replace the ones that I thrifted last summer, like a year ago last summer. Um, and I haven't found any that I really loved. And then I found these ones that... Goodwill for uh, $4.99. Not bad. I can do $4.99 if they last me, you know, another couple years or at least a year, right? $4.99, not bad. They're just from Target, but they're super cute. Nice, cute little pointy toe with a bow. So theirs will re be replacing my other pair. Then I picked up this cute little basket. It was $2.99. It had 25% off this. These were the full $4.99 because um, the 25% off doesn't come off the Target items. So this was, uh, well, what is that, like $2.25 or something for this little basket. I'm going to use this to organize my feminine supplies in my bathroom downstairs. And I'm just going to stick these in the basket. There we go. Okay, and then you guys, <laughs> I bought Grandma's curtains. <laughs> Actually, they are, can you see that, just lace valances there were two of them they were a dollar 99 so i paid a dollar 50 each or three dollars for the set and they're just the lace curtains i recently got new curtains for my dining room so i didn't really like the blue curtains that i had up there before so i hung up 
just a couple of napkins over a tension rod and I draped them over that just to hold me over. <laughs> but then I found these and I really like them and they, they're they 100% line. When I got home, I realized that they're from Country Curtains and they run about $25 each. So not bad. And they're like super crisp white, perfect condition. Love that. I got one thing at Aldi to show you and they are the three piece flameless candle set and the fresh linen scent and they are white and they are the real wax. So I just picked those up. I'll probably be busting into these for the Christmas season. So there's those. Okay, I have one more thrift item. Actually, I have two more thrift items. One is I'm already using, it's out on my front steps and I'll add a clip of that in too. So this was my last little thrift item. I got a shirt for Josie. It's already been washed. I took the tag off it. It was $3.99, but I went on Thursday. It's just this little flannel shirt from Justice. Josie loved it, it's size eight. Um, it was $3.99, but it was 50% off on Thursday, so I got it for $2. I think I have just one thing from Target. I'm going to scoot this chair a little closer. Let's see. Can you see it? No. Okay. Ha. <laughs> okay. So, third time's a charm. I had ordered, I have had these for about a month, you guys, and I haven't even taken the tags off because I wanted to show you. I had ordered three pairs of these. One, no, this is my fourth pair. Two black, one cranberry, as well as just this one. And I'm already getting cat hair on them. But you'll see. They are just these black, a new day ankle pants. They're, I'll show you, they are the stretch elast, elastizado. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, they're a new day. And they are the uh, the skinny ankle high rise fitted fitted hip and thigh. They're size six regular with by stretch. I will show you this stuff in case you're interested. But they are they have like like the fake pocket in the back. And um, is that a fake pocket? Yes. And then another fake pocket in the front, which I, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Um, but I like the fake pockets because I am curvy. So when I have like a pocket, usually they end up working their way out throughout the day. So um, I like those. I really like those. The first three pair, one pair was a burgundy pair that I thought was the exact same thing as this. And I was so excited about them. Actually, they're more of a wine color. But they weren't the same and they didn't fit the same, so I was kind of bummed. But this this pair, I really, really love. So now I'm excited to take the tags off and wash them so I can wear them. <laughs> okay. Back to Walmart. I have got a little bit of Christmas stuff, you guys. I decorate my house mainly with red and white. A little bit of gold and a little and natural touches of wood and things like that. So I picked up a Noel sign. It's just the little hanger here. I thought I just loved it. And then I also picked up this, which I love as well. And both of these signs were, well, no, this one was $5 and 74 cents. It says, baby, it's cold outside. And I love it. And this one, this sign was actually $4.74, the Noel sign. Couple more things. I bought two ribbons, spools of ribbon. They were two dollars and forty-seven cents each. There's two there, and they are fifteen-foot gift wrap ribbon, so not too shabby. Much more ribbon than the fall ribbon I purchased. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Okay, we're moving on to Kohl's. I purchased my first ever set of flannel seat sheets. And I'm going to have to look up the price of what I actually paid for these, you guys, because they were originally $89.99, and I did not pay for that. The entire order came to $45, so I got a pretty good deal. So I got a queen set of flannel sheets. I don't know if you can see that. They're just gray flannel. I am so excited to wash these and put these on my bed. I'm going to try to do that today. I picked up one of these big ones. Yeah, okay, big one. It looks backwards to me on camera. Hopefully it's not for you guys. Uh, what are they, like the fleece, super soft fleece throws? I cannot wait 
right to use this. I am in dire need of blankets for my, like throw blankets. I don't know where, one of them, my beloved quilt that I've had forever just fell apart. So I'm like replacing them. And I don't have any seasonal ones either. But this one here, I probably should have done this first. I'll try to edit up the sound for you guys. Um, I got for the end of my bed just to cozy it up for winter. I love the texture of this one. And I think I ended up getting these for like $9 a piece. Not too shabby. And then I also got one as a gift that I'm not going to show you just in case somebody watches it. Okay. That's it from Kohl's. I got one more item from Amazon and it's big, so I need to get this stuff out of my lap. So I'm just gonna toss it over here. <laughs> you guys, oh, these sheets. I don't even wanna tell you how long it's been since I bought sheets. Probably 10 years, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's gotta be close. <laughs> my sheets are old. Um, oh, last item, okay. Ta-da! A new bread machine. There we go. Um, my bread machine. This is the Oster Express Bake Two Pound Loaf Bread Maker. I'll put a link in the description box for you. I got it from Amazon. After taxes, it was like $63. My last bread machine jumped off the counter and the lid broke, which, and I still used it. It was only like two months old when I when that happened. On the same day, my crucifix fell off the wall. It was just not a good day. <laughs> uh, but a few weeks ago, I don't know exactly how, how many weeks ago it was, but a few weeks ago I was making my first loaf of bread of the season, of the fall season, and uh, it started smoking like horribly so I was like okay this one's going so I finished baking the bread in my oven and uh, the oyster went out into the driveway until it cooled off so I could throw it away I don't know what happened I looked inside I didn't see anything on fire or anything but it was smoking pretty badly so new bread machine what can I do not something I wanted to buy but I can't live without in the fall and winter time so I will go ahead and insert clips of my curtains and my step stool. That was um, the other thing that I purchased at Goodwill. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I'll show you in the clip. Um, I have been having really good luck at finding handmade step stool stools, and I love it. They're all completely different. Uh, so that's exciting um, because you can always use a step stool, right? So I will thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.